Well, that doesn't look too good. Nice. I blew up my turbo Miata. I am signed up for three drift events, Media Day, Opening Day, and Street League. Media Day is the 31st and Opening Day is April 14th. So I have like a little less than a month to get my car put back together, running, tuned, fixing the body kit, rewrapping some stuff, uh, and doing all that shit. So we're on a bit of a time crunch, so. Okay, so quick intermission, a lot has happened. Uh, Zach just went and got a fresh pitter. Yep. Are you excited? I'm excited, I don't even know how to ride one. Uh, 2023, right? Or is it 24? It's 23. 110 RL. Easiest way to do this. Oh, don't drop it. Makes sense. Yep. Fresh unit. Dude, she's fresh. Big fresh unit. So Zach got the fresh unit. Here's mine. Uh, he just bought the same exact bars and bar risers as me. So we're gonna go put them on. But we're not gonna go over that in this video. We're just showing the new rig. Sheesh. Got the engine in, that wasn't terrible. The motor mounts wasn't really lining up the best, but everything's in. All these lines look like they're clearing everything. Uh, gotta get the power steering pump back on. And for this being a bottom mount, the turbo really doesn't sit as low as I thought it was gonna be. No, I think it's pretty, I mean, it seems pretty accessible. Yeah, but these freaking turbo studs are a literal bitch. They were a bitch on the stand, <laughs> yeah. So basically you're saying you never want to pull the turbo out? Oh, if I have to pull the turbo out, it's getting welded. Once I get like a Garrett or something. Because I, I doubt this turbo is going to stay forever. According to uh, Liam, since I'm not running a blow-off valve, it's going to blow up. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll play this clip back if it ever does. <laughs> Which, somebody told me that their ISR kit has blown two turbos. And they do have a blow-off valve. So this turbo might just be junk. So we'll see. Only way to find out. Yep. Yep, I blew up my turbo Miata after about, I didn't make it through one whole drift event, so. As you can see, she's a little fucked. Um, I had no other way to get it in the garage other than by starting it, and now it's losing oil. So she doesn't have oil pressure anymore, but she did. <laughs> that is no good. So I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, I've just been super busy with work and then all my parts were back ordered and this came in at the last second. I just finished this car last weekend. Um, so I was rushing to get it done. So I didn't film any of that, but the car was running and complete. I got all the new rear control arms and stuff on, six speed put in it, ISR turbo kit, new motor, was new, now it's junk. Uh, 1,000 cc injectors, uh, D-Storks 300 pump. Uh, I drove it last weekend, test drove it a little bit. And then I loaded on the trailer, went drifting this weekend, and this thing was absolutely sh shredding until it wasn't.
So last weekend was Drift Indie Media Day. It's an invite only drift event just for them to get like media and stuff. The car is running great on Friday. There is not a lot of drivers there. Like I said, I think there's like 50 cars because it was invite only. So I got a bunch of seat time. I probably did close to a hundred laps in this on just Friday alone because it was raining. So I was just hot lapping my car. Well, like the car wasn't getting hot though. Um, and actually it never got hot one time. And I didn't go through a single set of tires. It was pretty great. And the very last lap of the day when they were closing down the track, I did my last lap and Rod knocked it. So, yep, sucks is what it is, but it's not the end of the world. I still have the original motor that came out of this car. This one has 90,000 miles on it. And uh, I guess it's gonna go back to where it came from. So uh, yeah, I need to start getting stuff situated and start pulling the motor out again. So I think we're at the point that we are ready to pull the engine. I got all the wiring disconnected. I got the radiator out, uh, fuel lines disconnected, intercooler piping and stuff off, drive shaft out, uh, PPF disconnected because it's easier just to pull the whole transmission with these. Trans fluid drained, the rest of the oil drain that didn't already spill out and uh power steering pump off i think we're good to go so uh yeah i'm gonna go get the hoist set up and uh start giving this thing a yank and just like that she's coming out 